Mario. Hello. Hello and welcome to No Refunds. My name is Dwight and today I'm starting a Let's Play. Why not? It's been a while since I've wanted to start doing something along these lines. I've actually had a couple of false starts with several other attempts at different games and whatnot. And I thought, why not go back to one of my favorite all-time games, something I know that will keep my interest and know that I'll be able to play all the way through to the end. Um, so come along, join me, uh, and let's have some fun. Super Mario 64, um, obviously, was the first game I ever played for... Nintendo 64. Oh, we got a little hey, cutscene. Please come to the castle. I have baked a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Peach. I remember that was the first time I'd ever heard her referred to as Peach. And when they, because she was always Toadstool from the, at that point. And once they made the move into full time calling her Peach, I was really opposed to it at first. But now, obviously, it's grown on me and. She is Peach, and obviously that's what her name is, I believe, in the original Japanese. So, that's probably how it should be. This game is so clever in the way that it introduced the concept of 3D. Ciao! You've reached Princess Toadstool's castle via a warp pipe. Use the controller as a piece of cake. Press A to jump and B to attack. Press B to read signs, too. Use the control stick in the center of the controller to move Mario around. Now, head for the castle. So, I'm just going to play around in the 3D space here for a little bit while I'm talking about how I'm doing this. So, I am just running this through an original N64, um, and I have a HDMI uh, converter hooked up to my Elgato. So, hopefully the quality is good. Um, fingers crossed on that, if it isn't. I'll have to come up with some other way of doing this, but for the time being, that's really all we need to know. Let's go ahead and get started. Yahoo! Good afternoon, the Lakitu bros here, reporting live from outside the princess's castle. Just outside. Mario has just arrived on the scene and will be filming the action live as he enters the castle and pursues the missing power stars. As seasoned cameramen, we'll be shooting from the recommended angle, but you can change the camera angle by pressing the C buttons. If we can't adjust the view any further, we'll buzz. To take a look at the surroundings, stop and press C up. Press A to resume place, switch camera modes with the R button. Signs along the way will review these instructions. For now, reporting live, this has been the Lakitu Bros. There's only one, though. All right. This game just feels so good. Welcome, no one's home. Now scram and don't come back. It was B to talk. There we go. Am I glad to see you? Am I glad to see you? <laughs> the princess and I, and well, everybody, were trapped inside the castle walls. Bowser has stolen all the castle stars, and he's using their power to create his own world in the paintings and walls. Please recover, and walls, that's a clever hint for later. Please recover the power stars as you find them. Yeah, you can use your pow their power to open the doors. The Bowser is sealed. There are four rooms on the first floor, starting the one with a painting of a bob -omb inside. It's the only room that Bowser hasn't sealed. When you collect eight power stars, you'll be able to open the door with the big star. The princess must be inside. So, since I've got a little while now before I actually uh, have to read more stuff, I want to talk a little bit more about the run. So I'm going to try and do 120 stars. Um, I've done it before in the past, as you saw when I um, started the game up uh, for my files. Woo, you're smack in the middle of the battlefield. You'll find the power stars that Bowser stole inside the paintings, inside the painting worlds. First, talk to the bomb mom buddy. Press B to talk. He'll certainly help you out. So will his comrades in other areas. To read signs, stop, face them, press B, press A or B to scroll ahead. You can talk to some of the characters by facing them and pressing B. Is this the one I talked to to open up the, uh, the cannon? Watch out, if you want to run, you're liable to be plastered by a water bomb. 
Enemy Bob-Obs love to fight and are always finding ways to attack. This meadow has become a battlefield ever since the big Bob-Mom got his paws on the Power Star. Can you recover the star for us? Cross the bridge and go left up the path to find the big Bob-Mom. Please come back to see me after you retrieve the Power Star. I don't... So... Oh, it must be in the next one because this is one of the cannons. So... So like I said, there was, um... Three other, uh slots that I had already gotten all uh, 120 stars on um, and I believe that those were all done legitimately like I didn't actually copy and paste them because I just love this game so many times I've played through it a bunch so let's get up here and as I was thinking earlier I'm not exactly a speedrunner I'm not exactly what I consider myself to be a, uh, a world-class gamer I'm just I like games they're a lot of fun. So I'm not promising any sort of like expert level play, which might be fun. I remember that. Um, so, <laughs> well, I'm gonna have to read this. I got a story about Mario 64 after this. I'm the big bob -omb, lord of all blasting matter, king of kabom, kabooms all over the world. How dare you scale my mountain? By what right do you set foot on my imperial mountaintop as I stroke my mustache and clip through it? You have eluded my guards, but you'll never escape my grasp. And you'll never take away my power star. I hereby challenge you, Mario. If you want the star I hold, you must prove yourself in battle. Can you pick me up? Oh, he's just telling me how to kill him? I don't remember this. Can you just pick me up from the back and hurl me to this royal turf? I think that you cannot. <laughs> Link. Urgh, is he gonna yell at me? Come on, start walking. I remember you can't get him to turn around quick enough until slip. Until he starts walking forward. I also remember throwing him off the edge results in a he just jumps back at you. Star number one, done. What, what? Can it be that a pipsqueak like you has defused the bob -omb king? You might be fast enough to ground me, but you'll have to pick up the pace if you want to take Bowser by the tail. Spoilers. Methinks my troops could learn a lesson from you. Here's your star as I promised, Mario. If you want to see me again, select this star from the menu. For now, farewell. I died. And one. Here we go. Cool. And I got a whole coin. You've recovered one of the stolen power stars. Now you can open some of the sealed doors in the castle. Try the princess's room on the second floor and the room with the painting of Womp's Fortress on floor one. Bowser's troops are still gaining power, so you can't give up. Save us, Mario. Keep searching for stars. So, funny story about how I actually got, um, Mario. I'm not, eh. Thank you, Mario. The big bob is nothing but a big dud now. But the battle for the castle's just begun. Other enemies are holding other power stars. If you recover more stars, you can open new doors that lead to new worlds. My bob buddies are waiting for you. Be sure to talk to them. They'll open up the cannons for you. Oh, you don't do it. You do. We're peace-loving bob so we don't use cannons. But if you'd like to blast off, we don't mind. Help yourself. We'll prepare all the cannons in this course for you to use. Bomb Voyage. So for Koopa the Quick, I don't remember if he... Ready for blast off. Come on, hop into the cannon. You can reach the star on the floating island by using the four cannons. Use a control stick to aim and press A to fire. If you're handy, you can grab onto trees or poles to land. I don't remember if he calls it cheating if you use the... Uh... Shortcuts. Hey, Mario, is it true that you beat the big bob -omb? Cool. You must be pretty strong and pretty fast, so how fast are you anyways? Fast enough to beat me? Koopa the Quick? I don't think so, just try me. How about a race to the mountaintop where big bob -omb was? What do you say? When I say go, let the race begin. Ready? I say go. Not, not the right button combination at all. Ooh. So I don't remember, like I said, if there's like a... 
if I'm allowed to cheat. I think I might be. You know what? Worst comes to worst. I have to do it again. In which case, oh no. Whatever. He might yell at me. Do I take the chance? Uh, yeah. I don't, I really don't remember. He might be like, you cheated, which I'm pretty sure is a thing that could happen. So, while we wait for him, um, the way that I got my original Mario 64, looking back on it, if it happened to me, I would have been so pissed, and I don't know why we did this. Well, um, so when I was, when did this game come out? 1996. So when I was a nine, when this game came out, Huff, puff, huff. Whoa, you're really fast. A human player. I guess I can do it. You've won fair and square. Take it. Um, my parents bought a couch. And when we bought the couch uh, inside of it, like we, we bought it secondhand from a family. And when we bought it inside the couch, we found a Mario 64 cart. And we just kept it. Like, I think we, I know for a fact that like we waited to see if they were going to call us and... Um, and want it back, and they never did. So it's weird. Like, looking back on it, it's a totally, like, scummy move to do. But I was, like, nine. I was just excited to have Super Mario. Didn't have an N64. I had to wait until Christmas to get that. We bought the, the couch in, like, August. So we sat on that one for a while. I'm gonna fly through some of these now because if I remember them correctly, they're just easy to get. I know I can't get the um, sky one. He says, finishing the shoot to the island in the sky. Ooh, you've recovered three power stars. Now you can open any door with a three on its star. You can come and go from the open courses as you please. The enemies ahead are even meaner, so be careful. This was always one of my favorite things to do in this game. Yeah, yeah. It always like because I could never skateboard growing up or anything like that. I was not very good at it, so that's what this kind of felt like to me. It felt like being a cool guy skateboarding. The song's also super rad. I always like the bomb on battlefield music. I wasn't that big a fan of like, or I don't think I realized how nostalgic I was for these songs until I listened to the soundtrack on YouTube like a couple years ago, and it just immediately takes you right back. It's so, like this tune is really memorable all the other ones, I believe, are just, like, strangely atmospheric. Like, I'm thinking, like, Dire Dire Docks and, um... Like, Jolly Roger Bay. No. <laughs> Is that what it's called? Jolly Roger Bay? Oh, I, am I confusing this with, uh, Banjo-Kazooie? The water levels, I remember. And, like, the... They're just really like, um, nope. so used to doing that. 
tones and, and like I said, atmosphere. It's just a testament to Koji Kondo. Is this Koji Kondo? I think it is. Let's see if I can uh, So what would be like if I shot that way? Nope, way off. Four! We're making good time. Five has got to be the fly to the sky, which I can't get yet. Oh, I got something in my eyeball. Ow. Can't get that yet. But I know how to get the last one. And I don't know any of those fancy speedrunner tricks. I've, I've watched AG, AG, AGDQs and things like that. And I've seen him do that trick. Oh my god. There we go. I can't do it though. It's impressive when it's done. It's like you go up to it and you do some sort of like ground pound move or something. We are flying through. When's the next message? I think there's only one more message. I think it's at eight. So let's do this in order. Reacting to the power of the star, to the star power, the door slowly opens. A uh, spoiler: I have dyslexia. At least I think I do. It's like never been officially uh, diagnosed. But I reverse words all the time. Chip off Womp's block. Oh, another one. Hello, Lakitu Bros. Cutting in with live update on Mario's progress. He's about to learn a technique for sneaking up on enemies. The trick is this. He has to walk very slowly in order to walk quietly. And wrapping up filming techniques reported on earlier, you can take a look around using the C's and to view, press C down to view distance, action from a distance. When you can't move the camera any further, the buzzer will sound. This is the Lakitu Bros signing off. Oh man. And the level of freedom in this game is nuts. There's a... Over here? Yep. I can't do that thing too. There's a way. I'll try it once. There's a way that you can like jump through. Womp. It makes me so mad. We build your houses, your castles, we pave your roads, and still you walk all over us. Do you ever say thank you? No. Well, you're not going to wipe your feet on me. I think I'll crush you just for fun. You have a problem with that? Just try to pound me, whip. Ha ha! Alright, so there's a way, like, I've seen it in the speedrun. You're like, jump! Nope. <laughs> I can't do it. Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> No crushed again, I'm just a stepping stone after all. I won't gravel. Haha. <laughs> er gravel. Here you win. Take this with you. Kaboom. Here we go. I think the number for the 
first world is, um, or not as far as the first world, sorry. To unlock the cap, which one's this? Top of the fortress. To unlock the wing cap is 15. Oh, can I save myself? I did! Oh, that was skill. Skill to fall down like a chump. Come on. Let's zip around here. This game still handles so good for an N64 game. It's insane. Everything just feels so good. Like everything, all the controls feel so tight and responsive. It really makes you appreciate. It's funny because it makes you appreciate like everything in this game, but it ruins other games which are like acceptable and fine, but they aren't as perfect as this one is. Which one is this? Shoot into the wild blue. Is that the one where I'm, I break the the wall? No, no, no. I remember now. Okay. Oh yeah. Still the wall. Isn't there something on top of him? Oh right. There. Which I don't need right now. I do need to go down here. Get this opened up. I, you know, A works just as well. Hi, I'll prepare the cannon for you. Ready for blast off? Come on, hop into the cannon. Hop. Nope. Hop. I did it. Like you requested. All right, so let's look there. I remember that. You want to stop yourself on that wall. Boom. I'm sure there's a way to, like, shoot so you actually hit the star. I never learned that. Hey, there's the message. You received eight power stars. Now you can open the door with the big star. But Bowser is just ahead. Can you hear the princess calling? Oh, oh. Red coin. Okay, so the red coin star is right there. Um, I don't remember. Oh, there's one. I don't remember where these are. So, we're... Um, we're still mostly in the part where I remember where things are in this game, but we are going to hit a point where... I mean, I've played these early levels so many times. Um, however, the later levels, I've played less times. And I still remember how to do things, like, uh, like beat up these piranha plants and whatnot. See the fifth. Nope. Nope. So to date this uh, game, um, supposedly tonight is when Piranha Plant, speaking of Piranha Plant, gets released for Smash Brothers. So hopefully that happens. And if it does, I will be very excited. Fingers crossed. Is there one up here or is that just a... One up. So that's just a one up because that's so tall. Okay, so there's another one. Two more. Is that all I need left? There's two. Shit. Fun part of this game where the camera won't go where you want it to. I want the camera behind me. 
Oh, come on. <laughs> Close. So, at least you know I'm not um, holding back. All right. Is there another one down here? Is there one over here? No. Jesus. Oh, there's three. You know, I should probably just go for the uh, go for the hundred now as well. It would make sense. Recovery frames on that before going into the um, into the crouch. I feel a little blasphemous not doing um, hundred coins on bomb on battlefield first, but. Getting the blue coins, I think, is the most important part of getting <clears throat> hundred coins in general. Because if you miss those, then you got nothing. You got a lot to make up. Right, so let's be careful here. Oh, jeez. That one I know you can can beef and cheese it. the other one. Like I said, it's been a while since I've played. I ran right by that. Oh, jeez. What a big dummy am I. Yep. <sighs> what a stupid one. And let's make up for... Not that I think it matters. I think if you save... Or if you um, restart, it doesn't carry it over. But we're getting close to 100. Gonna get that soon. Let's just get the hundred. Hey, stop. Think. Here we go. <laughs> That's funny. Oh well. What you gonna do? <laughs> okay. So just a few more. I think that's it. Those two right there. Oh, that was easier than trying to make the camera go the other way. Whew, all right. At least I know I've already gotten, um, I've already gotten the hundred. 
so it doesn't matter if I die. Still, I don't want to. He says, okay, so we have gotten 10 stars. We have made a big dent in the first two worlds. We got our 100 coins. We are all set. I think I'm going to go ahead and stop this first episode here. This was a lot of fun. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to check out norefundspodcast.com. We have a podcast, um, my wife and my good friend Alex. Um, you can check us out there if you want. Uh, if not, I'll see you next episode. This has been a lot of fun.